All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless all of you. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, getting us through the week, getting us through the weekends, getting us through the Sabbath day. Praise the most high, y'all. Shabbat shalom. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Much love to all of you out there. Hope you get your rest and peace. And, you know, you kick back, you know, in this crazy, fast-paced world. You just kind of relax. Uh, prayers up for all of you out there. I don't know if you had a good week, a long week, or what have you, but prayers up. Amen. The Father brought you through. So always stay, thank always stay thankful through it all, people. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son, dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. He is he, he, he protects his people. He keeps his promises. So always thank him. Always keep him first. Always worship him through it all, people. Every season you praise him. Amen. Most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for each other, comfort one another, support each other, all those things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us stay together on one accord for the most high. Amen. Most definitely, much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered to all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, and the gathering and the fellowships. Much love to the current martyrs, previous martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, courageous believers out there who are going through it for the gospel, their faith, and for his name's sake, who are being persecuted. For all those, uh, for all everything for the kingdom. God bless all of you, strong, isolated believers out there. Much love to all of you. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faiths, kindreds, all over the world. Much love to the brand new converts out there. Anyone who just became a believer, anyone who just got baptized, anyone who just repented, anyone who became a a brand new creature in Christ. God bless all of you, most definitely. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the most high. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, play an instrument, crowd to him, dance, express yourself, do what you got to do for the most high. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit and the truth, amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God, follow your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God, follow your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night and a twinkling of an eye. He has come back with a shout with the angels. He has come back to bring fire upon the earth. He has come back for war, people. So he has come back at an hour. Nobody knows but the Father. All right. So let's stay wordy, alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up, all those things, people. Let's stay doing the Great Commission. Keep big doers of the word. Keep you know, winning as many souls as possible for the kingdom, you know, so much people could reach out to and spread the word to, you know, so always keep doing that, people, most definitely. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, visions, encounters in various ways. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, such commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the most has told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our times, our circumstances, handle that, people. Any assignment the Father gave you, handle it, all right? Let's always keep the word of God, keep the testimony of the Messiah, keep the law, statute, commandments, keep all the all of God's word, y'all. Keep it and keep being doing it. Keep, keep on doing it, amen, all of us, all right? 
So today's message, we'll just go through, you know, the, the, the news tabloid. We'll just go through that. And from there, we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing. We'll close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise only, but God shall die for our sins, you know. Stay being washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water by the word, and keeping our lamps and our oils in these times. Amen. So obviously a lot going on in the world with all types of news, good news, bad news, whatever. But we're going to always believe in the report of the Lord. And we're going to always remember the good news of the gospel, the good news of the kingdom, the good news of the Messiah. Amen. So that's the news we always stick by, all right? But it's a lot of fast-paced things going on locally, regionally, nationally, globally, you know. So prayers are for everybody in the world, okay? All right, let's see what we got going on here in the news, okay? Let's see. A Asylum Policy, a Sasada Gadan, and a Dublin Portal. Asylum Policy, deal with the Biden administration. Let's see what we have going on here. Uh, let's see, stuff going on in the UK as well. Prayers up for all the people in UK, all over the world. There's news everywhere going on. Let's see, sports, entertainment, culture, filmmaker Mohammed Rasaluf sentenced to eight years in prison in Iran over alleged intent to commit crimes against country security. Hmm, interesting. MLB star Shahai Shohi Atani, former interpreter, pleads guilty to bank fraud and faces 33 years in prison for stealing $17 million from Otani. Man, that's a lot of bread to be taking, 17 mil. Let's see what we have here. Disney and Warner Bros. Discovery team up to bundle Disney Plus, Hulu, and Max streaming services. New Lord of the Rings film set for a 2026 release. Let's see. Science and technology. National Museum of Brazil receives more than 1,100 fossils donated from private collector. Burkhard Pohl Museum was nearly completed, destroyed, completely destroyed in a 2018 fire. It's nearly destroyed. Okay. Let's see, more researchers are trying to make more 3D maps up to date. Let's see, scientists identify modern hoofed animals. Okay, let's see, we have business and markets. Let's see what we have here. Vice Media to relaunch digital properties through joint venture with Nashville-based Savage Ventures. News comes one year after Vice filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Okay, let's see. We have politics and world affairs. Stormy Daniels returns to return to witness down a former President Trump's hush money trial. Let's see. Let's see. Hunter Biden's request to dismiss gun charges rejected by appeals court, clearing way for June trial. Okay, death toll rises to at least 107 people from severe flooding in Brazil's southern state of Rio Grande do Sul. More than 100 people are still missing, and roughly 165,000 people have been displaced. Wow, floods in Brazil. Uh, prayers are for any believers out there in Brazil, brothers and sisters out there of the faith, okay? First shipment of humanitarian aid from Cyprus heads to U.S. built floating pier off Gaza's coast. At least 80,000 people have fled Gaza's southern city of Rafah since Monday, according to the United Nations. Yeah, just a lot going on, man, especially with the weather. A lot of tornadoes in America. A lot of floodings. I think there's a flood in Houston not too long ago, and there's other floodings going on, man. So we see a lot of end time things going on, a lot of judgment, prophecy being fulfilled, okay? So stay strong and alert out there. Don't be fearful. Be watchful, amen? So that's the news roundup, all right? What I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen? Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He's the God of the Hebrews. Praise the most high. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Lord always forever. He most definitely is only begotten and died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us, y'all. Praise the Messiah. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Praise the most high, the almighty, true, living God. Praise the most high, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son. The blessed only potent, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn of all creation.